What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to a very interesting video for today. So, if y'all haven't heard or seen yet, we officially have a new Dragon Ball game coming out, but it's not really exactly what you would expect to do, us to be getting. I'll, I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about it here today on this video. So, let me just pull up the... I have like a whole window pulled up for it right here. Here we go. So... Yeah, we, we have three different things to look at. We have the official Dragon Ball website. They have a website for the game itself. And then uh, some information on Twitter. So, firstly, the game is called Dragon Ball The Breakers. And I already saw the trailer and everything. I would react to it on this video, but I can't because of copyright. And, yeah, I just I don't have the rights to do that. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't do that. But we do still have news we can talk about here in screenshots. So, yeah, the game is called Dragon Ball The Breakers. This is the official poster for it, which is probably going to be the thumbnail, honestly, or in the thumbnail, at least. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's actually a pretty cool looking poster. We got Oolong, Bulma, Cell, Frieza, Boo. And here's a screenshot from the game. So here we go. So Dragon Ball Breakers has been confirmed for release in 2022. In a first among Dragon Ball games, Breakers will feature asynchronous multiplayer online action with a group of players competing against one. So, um, oh yeah, there's a global beta coming to Steam. I might play that, but... Uh, so yeah, eight players will be divided into one attacker and seven survivors, and you have to survive. So basically, the the concept of the game is it's very similar to I've seen a lot of people saying Dead by Daylight, but the other games, for example, are like Friday the Thirteenth. It's very similar to that game. So basically, uh, which we'll get into it here, but base they did confirm you get to play a Cell, Frieza, and Boo. So the attacker is going to be one of those three, and you're a survivor. And uh, they even like point out how. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, th these are some screenshots of Cell because the whole trailer was about Cell showing, which I mean makes sense because that's actually canon Cell destroying everything. But yeah, and it seems like as you kill people, you can actually power up as Cell because you see he's first. Like he starts off in his larva state coming out the the time machine, then he goes into first form and then second form and then perfect. So I think the more you kill, oh yeah, look, it says by fulfilling certain conditions, you can gradually grow stronger. So I'm assuming that means. Frieza is going to start off in like first form and then Boo maybe will start off as like Fat Boo and then go into like Evil Boo, Super Boo. I, I feel like that could happen because if they're going to keep it even, they should all have four transformations. So we could get like first form, then second form Frieza, third form, then final form Frieza, you know? Uh, so we probably won't get like full power or golden Frieza. Yeah, so seven civilians survive. Oh yeah, this is what I was going to talk about. So it says with the power level of five, which is actually a reference to how in Dragon Ball, all like the normal humans on earth all like they have a power level of five because they don't have like key control or anything like that so that's pretty interesting we're playing as just normal people you know so yeah and uh you can do like a little kamehameha we'll talk about all this in a bit yeah they said it's just like a hide and seek kind of game oolong can actually transform into like objects kind of like prop hunt kind of thing you oolong is basically prop hunt, prop hunt mode you could transform to like objects uh, oh yeah, so the Kamehameha thing right here, there's this thing called a dragon change move and it says it temporarily imbues you with the power of a Z fighter. So I'm assuming that's like maybe like a capsule or something like that. It says it's an item scattered around the map. So you can actually shoot off a Kamehameha, which is actually pretty interesting. It, it looks like you can also do a solar flare. There's also a vehicle like Krillin's little police thing. But yeah, so it seems like you actually do have a way to fight back. And that, that's a big thing with this game, because a lot of these style of games, I've noticed, one of their big problems, why they die off, is the killer is always, like, way too broken. And the survivors don't really have much to fight back. Like, in Friday the 13th, to kill Jason, you have to do, like, really specific things. And it's just, it's hard. And yeah, it, like, it's not easy to fight back. But this game seems like they're going to give you some options to actually fight back. So... 
I don't know, like, I don't know how rare these items are going to be on the map and stuff, so we'll just have to see once the beta in the game actually comes out. But yeah, here's the trailer. Like I said, I can't really watch it here, though. And yeah, that's everything on the website. And they confirmed it's only on play PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and Steam, which to me, that's interesting that it's an old-gen game instead of being on newer consoles. Like, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty interesting. But the game, like, the graphics, though, I think they actually look really good. Like... Yeah, I don't know. To me, they just look really good. But let's go over to the official website now. So yeah, this is the Dragon Ball Breakers website. So we just get a better look at the box art and stuff. Again, I can't watch the trailer. So yeah, ordinary citizens find themselves. I'm not going to like, I'm going to kind of just skim through all this because I got a lot to talk about. So if y'all want to read it, just like pause. But yeah. Um. Oh yeah. So let's go back to here with the screenshot. So you see the time machine that Cell came in. I'm pretty sure that is what you have to use. It says break out with the super time machine i'm pretty sure you have to use the time machine cell came in so maybe it's going to be like kind of like the cars and like friday 13th where you have to find all the parts like the fuel and then the battery and then put it into the time machine and that's how you escape that would be pretty cool but we'll just have to see but yeah so you can escape as a team you know so here's another screenshot of like cell flying in you know uh, oh yeah, one another thing to know is that the developer of this game is Dimps, the same people who made Xenoverse, which will be important later once we get to Twitter, because there's actually something real, another interesting point about this game that I want to talk about. But yeah, so again, just reiterating, like there's a large map. There's actually multiple maps they showed off, uh, and it says you can actually destroy areas to do like to reduce your livings. But yeah, yeah. So basically, like the killer can destroy parts of the map and it seems like it's actually permanent like damage which is something xenoverse never got like we got damage but a lot of it wasn't really permanent but yeah right here this is where they confirm cell boo and frieza because the trailer only shows off cell but you do get self boo and frieza but interesting to know it says three enjoy three first iconic raiders so to me that's sounding like because it's damn and we all know how xenoverse 2 went we're probably going to get dlc for this game but i'm here for it if we can get like because okay i'm it, I don't know if all the characters that are coming are gonna have four transformations, but if so, imagine we got like Zamasu, right? And then, or maybe, or you know what? We could start off with Goku Black, right? We get Goku Black base form. Then you can power up to Rose. And then maybe you could have like a Zamasu, like CPU partner kind of thing, or he'd just be standing next to you. And then the final form is Fuse Zamasu. Something like that would be cool. I think Goku Black would be a really good raider for this. Um. I can't really think of who else they could put. Maybe they could put in, like, Demon King Piccolo. Like, I don't know. If we're doing, like, villains, then... I'd, I mean, I think Beerus might be cool, but... I mean, I'll, obviously, not all of them have to have transformations, you know? I'm just saying if they were to, that's how they could do a Goku Black, for example. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So, you can actually... It says you can customize, which it says there's perks and skins and stuff. So, I don't know how that's going to work for the Raider. Like, what... So is Cell going to have like maybe like a Cell Jr. color palette or something? Uh, I could see how it works for like the normal survivors uh, because you can like change your clothes and stuff. The perks like, yeah, that makes sense too. Uh, then there's unique items and power-ups they said. So like, you can get like a grappling hook, uh, vehicles and weapons. Because you got to remember these guys aren't like Saiyans or they can't really fly. These are just like regular humans. So you have to run away and try to escape. Which I think is actually a really cool concept because, like, especially playing with Cell, because if y'all remember, if you've seen the show Dragon Ball Z, Cell, like, wiped out entire towns of people by absorbing them. So I think this is a really cool concept just to, like, kind of like you're experiencing that, which I love that Dragon Ball is taking, like, a new approach to games, like a new genre. But, like, like I said, we'll talk about all this in a second. Let's move over to Twitter now. So... The interesting part, which I said about Dimps, is it says this game shares the same universe as Xenoverse 2. And it says you can, like, transfer your save data between the two. So, most likely there's going to be a collab. It also does confirm the game's not free, but it's supposed to be at an accessible cost. I don't know what Dimps considers accessible, but ideally, I hope this game isn't more than, like, $20. Maybe, I feel like 40 is kind of pushing it, but... Uh, it definitely, if they're saying it's accessible cost, there's no way this is going to be $60. I just don't believe it. But ideally, I would say like $20, hopefully. But so the interesting thing about this, though, is the game sharing the same universe as Xenoverse 2. Um, to me, like, that's just an interesting point that they made for this game. Because they could have made this game just separate from Xenoverse altogether. 
but I think this was conver confirmed in like a producer letter that they uploaded. I didn't actually watch that yet, but I saw that it was a thing. So to me, it's like maybe this game, let's look at these screenshots closer, by the way. So maybe this, like looking at the graphics and stuff, like look, this doesn't really look like Xenoverse. So maybe like, look at this cell model first. Like, look at that. Maybe this game is supposed to, I put it, I actually posted this on Twitter, but what if this game's supposed to kind of serve as like a, a low key like preview of xenoverse 3 you know some people think this is killing off xenoverse 3 chances i don't think so because xenoverse 3 could still get like announced next year i don't know we'll have to just see but i don't think it kills off the chances of xenoverse 3 but i am here for the fact that they're kind of expanding into new genres but yeah so maybe this game's supposed to serve as like a low key like a low key preview of xenoverse 3 uh, and yeah shout out to ken gyro for you know the screenshots and everything appreciate him <laughs> yeah he said like you gotta make a joke about xenoverse 2 being eternal yeah because xenoverse is always getting dlc and updates but yeah the graphics look really good i i can't really show the trailer or i would like go more into it i could have taken screenshots i guess but i just wanted to put this video out um so yeah i'll probably link the trailer below in the description and maybe the comments um but yeah this game looks really good so the other thing i wanted to talk about though is uh, actually a while back, I can't, there's obviously I can't really confirm this, but back when Fighters first came out, I actually was talking to my friends about it because, you know, Fighters was a whole new genre for Dragon Ball games. They took like, they teamed up with an actual company, like who makes fighting games and like, uh, you know, Arc System, they teamed up with them and made a whole new genre, like an actual 2D fighter of Dragon Ball game. So I kind of jokingly kind of predicting that maybe what the direction they're trying to go with dragon ball games is making a game for all types of genres like every genre like maybe they want it to where like so that maybe they're just like oh you're a fan of friday the 13th bam here's a dragon ball game for it oh you like 3d arena we got xenoverse oh you like 2d fighting games we got fighters like i think that's what they're trying to go for making a dragon ball game of every genre i think this game really pushes that idea because this is a very unique game for dragon ball we've never gotten a game like this so I think that that's what they're trying to do. So maybe coming up, like let's like I put it on Twitter on my Twitter. We, we can go over there and look. But it's like maybe they're trying to get give us like um uh like a Dragon Ball cart like a, yeah like I said here Dragon Ball Kart Racer and first person shooter. What if we got like a Dragon Ball Mario Party game? That would be fun. Just I think it'd be cool if they gave us all types of games. Like give me a tournament of power battle royale i'm pre-ordering that like i am completely here for that a tournament of power battle royale would be so fun might i had just oh my god that'd be such a good game but yeah so it's like i feel like they're trying to do dragon ball games for all types of genres but um oh i just realized the trailer was showing oops like <laughs> i'm gonna have to censor that but yeah just i feel like they're trying to do dragon ball games for all different types of genres and i'm really here for it but yeah let me know what y'all think down below let me know your thoughts on this new game all of that um yeah just let me know what y'all are thinking about the new game what do y'all think about the future of dragon ball games do you agree with me that we're gonna get more new dragon ball games obviously i still want xenoverse 3 don't get me wrong but i think it'd be like i do like the idea of them branching out and making new games i just hope this game is actually handled pretty well from like the look, like on paper, it sounds good, but from what they say and versus actually playing it, it could be different. But there is supposed to be a beta, so hopefully we can give them some feedback on how to improve the game. But yeah, so that's it for me though. I'm just really, really excited to talk about this game and I think it's just really interesting and I wanna see where they go from here. So yeah, till next time though, make sure you share this video around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, everyone you wanna share it too, and yeah. That's it for me, though. Like I said, leave some comments down below on what you think about the game and all that. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.